took our dip mixture and I just spread about half of it on this little platter and made some little divots in it so that it will hold this honey, the jalapeno honey whenever we put it on there. And I just made some small slices, this baguette. I love a baguette, especially for dips. So of course that's what I went with. So we're just gonna fill this whole little platter. So this would be super fun for a little party get together any of that and very easy to transport because you could just put these in a little zippy bag spread that on it pour it when you get there and it's still all beautiful or if you're having the party at your house even easier I'm just going to take some of this honey mixture oh let's see i'm going to get a little spoon and actually drizzle it into there oh, i definitely want it in those crevices and some of those pieces of jalapenos now I did use three large jalapenos because I like spice, but I've got to say it's got a little kick. I licked uh, my finger whenever I was stirring it earlier and oh my goodness, it's got a little kick. I'm gonna add a few more just for color. Okay, so how pretty is that? Yummy. Today we're gonna make something I'm gonna just call freezer gumbo. It's basically using a shelf dry room mix and trying to use up a bunch of what I have in the freezer to make a quick meal that I don't have to let simmer all day and can deal with some kids that are far behind on their schoolwork just so that we can get a bunch done but they can still have, well we can all still have a yummy, delicious lunch. So I'm using the Carrie's Dry Roux for um for a quick gumbo now this is not how i recommend using like your gumbo that you want to impress your mother-in-law or <laughs> whoever um but it is something that's still delicious and like a quick go-to if you have a craving but making your own roux from scratch is not that hard not super hard it just it just takes some time to develop to see what kind of flavors you like this, however, does make it easier for me to make a small pot because when I make my roux from scratch, I don't always know how big of a batch it's going to be because if I add a little bit too much roux or flour and stuff, then I'll end up with like a huge batch just to get the uh, flavoring and consistency right. So I'm making sure this dry roux is all mixed in there. I'm using my pretty clear pot that I just got because I think it's pretty and gumbo is a very pretty, I hate to use the word soup for gumbo because it's way more than a soup, but it's very pretty as well. So now that my dry roux is mixed in, I'm gonna add in a few veggies. Now normally I would saute these, but we're gonna add in one medium onion. And for this is a very small pot of gumbo for us. I'm gonna add in maybe about a quarter of a cup of freezer, um, about a quarter of a cup of freezer celery. I have my go-to bag of bell pepper so that whenever I get like a top or a bottom or something, or I just have some bell pepper that I haven't used up by the time I need to, I chop it and put it in here. So this is a couple blended. I'm gonna add about a cup of bell pepper this this is my go-to especially for omelets just have them all chopped already in the freezer here's where it's going to get a little bit scary <laughs> i'm going to add in one pound of chicken thighs and see if we don't overflow 
and that's it for now it looks like I'm gonna have to wait until some of this um, evaporates out <laughs> yeah this is way too small of a pot and then some sausage that I want to add but right now we're gonna have to let this do its thing and then um, I can even pull away some broth my new clear pot is so much smaller than I thought it would be so <laughs> I'm having a tough time this is the first time I've used it but I'm having a tough time looking at this understanding what I'm going to make in such a small pot okay so I took off about a quart of the broth and I do plan to add it back later however you've got to remember that we just put raw chicken in this broth so it has to simmer and get those juices cooked and get all that bacteria cooked out so now I'm going to slowly add in as much of the two pounds of chicken breast that I can to get them simmering along with the thighs okay so we're gonna let this simmer for about an hour and then I'll add any more broth back that I need to and add in this pound of sliced sausage so I'm using a kielbasa sausage because the kids really like this and prefer it over the andouille however we use both it just kind of depends on what we're in the mood for and with the sick kiddo we are definitely going for what he will eat Okay y'all, so somehow we lost the audio to this part of our video, but this is where we went back and added in the sausage, added about two tablespoons of our Nunu's Cajun seasoning, uh, about four cloves of garlic, and just let this simmer until everything was all cooked through. We just served it over some white rice and we skipped the bread for today. Um, none of us were really feeling it, so it wasn't a big mess. I will say this isn't the best roux base in my opinion. It just, it wasn't hitting the mark for us today. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da.